Well, hello. Compared to yesterday's mammoth video and saga, today's going to be a bit like an advert. It's nice and short. Um, I had hoped, I had planned to go to Summersby today and Bag Enderby to go and find about where Tennyson was. Take some photos where Tennyson, the poet, poet laureate, lived, was born, was brought up. He did go to school for four years from the age of seven to eleven at the Outer Grammar School, but was bullied came back home and was taught by his father who had multiple amounts of books for many many years his mother was a bit of a free spirit and let them just wander around so he would be wandering around at all times of day and night in the woods in the fields around Summersby around their big home at Summersby um, writing his poetry his father did have a bit of an alcohol problem though it is alleged and depression so he was at some point sent off to France to try and combat that problem I don't know if he did or not Anyway, um, I'm afraid that weather stopped play. It has been absolutely pissing it down. So I thought, I'm not going to go and take all those photos for you. But I will go back at some time. And Bag Enderby as well, because I think, I don't know if it was grandfather or his father was um, clergyman, but they're in the church. So they had two, two churches. And there's a Poets and Speakers Corner near Bag Enderby on the corner, which I didn't know. I must have driven past it hundreds of times when I lived here. But it's too wet to go today. So um, I had planned. I had planned to go to Partney to get fuel and then go up there. But instead I headed straight to Reevesby to the Red Lion pub where I was meeting my friend Helen, who I haven't seen for 10 years, we said. We used to work together um, many, many years ago. And I knew her husband, who sadly passed away 11 years ago now. Uh, but anyway, as I got to East Kirkby and I stopped to take some photos where the Just Jane was, where we took the photos a couple of few months ago, um, I suddenly realised that I hadn't actually been to get my petrol. <laughs> so I had to limp quite a bit from Leavesby to Horncastle when I found a garage and got some petrol, so that's good. Um, I'm now at my friend Verity's, but um, she's not in. She's on her way back from the garage. But luckily, she's got a chicken coop. You can't see in the chickens though, because I've stood in it and scared them all off. They've buggered off now. But I have given my waterproofs a good try out. Um, our water is running up my sleeves though, as always. My, my leather gloves I've got with me, they're not waterproof. I need to get that spray that someone told me about. Get that sprayed on. Haven't got my milking gloves with me, so it's all running up my sleeves. I've tested my a new waterproof bum bag out as well. And that seems pretty good. It does seem to have done the job, but I'll see. And my dry sack's done a really good job too, so at least I've uh, tried them out. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, and Tennyson, he married, his wife was the niece of John Franklin. So it was John Franklin was her uncle. So yeah, but it's quite a beautiful place they grab, some massive summers be hall. Um, so I will go there at some point, but when the weather's a bit brighter. Tomorrow, I might even go tomorrow if the weather's nice, but I also need to go to Horncastle tomorrow, so I'll do a bit exploring around there. Oh, glasses decided to drop down on my head, all very wet. And I'm seeing a friend for lunch, so I might get some exploring done. And then I'm going over to Tallington tomorrow, so um, hopefully catch up with 158 on the water, either tomorrow or the day after, depending on this weather. I'm not standing out in the rain any longer than I have to. Bye bye for now. I've got some photos for you, hopefully, you can really